This video shows you how to create shifts, schedules, and events in workforce optimization for customer service. How do you manage shifts, schedules, and events for multiple teams in different time zones? The schedule application provides you with the features to do it all in one place. Let's follow along with Amy Jones, the head of customer support for Acme, as she creates a schedule, a shift, and an event. We're logged into the manager workspace where we access the schedule, which opens to the team calendar by default. It gives Amy an overview of her entire team and shows which agents are scheduled for each shift. Now let's open the shifts tab and create a new shift from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., running Monday through Friday. The agent time zone feature automatically adjusts the time you've set for agents to other time zones, so if you have a distributed team, you don't have to create separate shifts for them. Our new shift appears on the calendar. Now let's add a 40-minute break for lunch, starting anytime between 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. When you add breaks, they're staggered between agents, so not all agents will go on break at the same time. This ensures minimal overlap. Here on the calendar view, we see the shifts we just created. We can change the view of our shifts from week to day. Now let's return to the team calendar view again and create a schedule for next month. Here, we choose to assign a schedule to specific assignment groups, either those we manage or groups that we specify. Now that we've added our new schedule, we can create a shift for it. In our example, we want to create a shift for the sales support team, so we add the individual agents for that team and save it. A preview of the schedule appears in the calendar view when we add the shift. We check to verify that agents are not double booked, and then we publish it to our agents. When the schedule is published, it's now visible to agents in their calendar. We can duplicate the schedule if we have similar shift patterns repeated across months. We can also create meetings, time off, training, or work events on the team calendar. We also have an option to look at the calendar in different time zones. By default, it's set to the user time zone. We can review the calendar by the day or by the week here. We can also view staffing requirements at 15, 30, and 60 minute intervals. The total resources needed row that appears at the top displays forecasting needs, which means it will tell us what coverage is required for our forecasted volume. So in this case, the coverage is one agent, and King Roy is scheduled at this time, but there is no demand for volume, which means that this window of time is overstaffed. We can look at this using different time intervals as well. Let's set up a meeting with Agent King Roy. Because he's scheduled to work during this overstaffed time slot, we can use this slot to create a one-on-one -on -one meeting with him. The new meeting appears, and the time slot is no longer overstaffed. We edit events directly from the schedule if needed. This particular team calendar view displays all the schedules. We can filter schedules too. For example, Amy manages multiple teams, but if she wants to look at the calendar for just one of her teams, she can apply a filter to display only the agents on that team. Likewise, multiple filters can be applied for more refined results. So wherever your teams are, the schedule application provides the tools you need to manage them efficiently. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.